Well, hello friends. Greetings, this is Bruce Kahn reporting from a rainy day in the beautiful city of Castries on the island of St. Lucia in the Caribbean. And we are moving along with our multi-island survey. Castries is the capital city and the largest city of St. Lucia. And we're here looking across at some of the buildings of the downtown area. We're doing the urban mosquitoes here. But I have to stop and look at another thing here. St. Lucia is actually a legendary place when it comes to control of infectious diseases. And it mostly started in 1965 when the Rockefeller Foundation of New York partnered with the government of St. Lucia to try to control a dreadful disease that had been imported here accidentally from uh, Africa called schistosomiasis, the schistosoma mansoni variety. Now we know about insects like mosquitoes transmitting diseases, but many people don't know that freshwater snails can also be a real problem. In fact, schistosomiasis is one of the most deadly and terrible diseases that we know of is caused by little worms that get into your blood, your blood flukes. These worms are an inch or so long, but they lay eggs. The eggs eat their way out through your intestine and ultimately into the feces where they hatch and penetrate freshwater snails. The snails then have a reproductive cycle of the worms inside them. And the next stage called a stricaria comes out, swims through the water and looks for naked human flesh. They then can penetrate directly through your uh, flesh. So all you have to do is go swimming, wading, washing your clothing or whatever in the water. You don't have to drink the water. They infect you in that way. And so it's a very difficult disease. But in 1965 through 1980, uh, the Rockefeller Foundation and St. Uh, and, uh, St. Lucia government teamed up to defeat this disease. And when they, what they did is they uh, actually took what had become a very dangerous endemic disease and ultimately eliminated it from this island as a major public health threat, although it is still here in small pockets. They've had to deal though a lot with, in, uh, with mosquito infections as well, or, or mosquito-borne diseases, including the dreadful filariasis, the filarial worms, round worms that live in your lymphatic system attached to the circulatory system and can cause a terrible thing called elephantiasis, gi gigantic enlargement of your limbs with other things that go along with it. Again, uh, they have been able to control that pretty well here. We're looking for urban mosquitoes, uh, not the Culex mosquitoes that primarily carry lymphatic filariasis, but also the Aedes mosquitoes that carry Zika, Chikungunya, Dengue, which have caused outbreaks here in recent years, as well as the Anopheles mosquitoes that can cause uh, malaria and carry it. Fortunately, uh, most of these have been brought under control here in St. Lucia, so we hope we'll have good findings today. So in the meantime, you stay safe, stay healthy, stay away from biting insects, and stay away from water that might be contaminated in tropical areas uh, by schistosome flukes. Take care.